It's beautiful, isn't it? The mountaintop experience. It's wonderful being up here on top of the mountain with the fresh, clean mountain air, looking down over all creation, looking down in the valley. It's beautiful. But what about the valley? What about the valley experience? That's not as grand, is it? It's, it's very hard to go through. And I'm just gonna be honest with you. I have just came out of a valley experience. And in the valley is where I experience fear and anxiety. And this past time, I fought it. When you go through a valley experience and you're dealing with fear, you can either give in to it or fight it. It's your choice. And thank God I chose to fight it this time. But how do you fight it? I know there's some of you out there that, that has been dealing with fear and anxiety. You wake up in the middle of the night, maybe like I was, and just shaking with, with fear, or you wake up in the morning feeling empty, and, and you're a child of God. A child of God's not supposed to feel that way, right? Well, life happens. So here is what I experienced, and here's how I fought it. I was experiencing fear of the unknown, and just the choice of trusting in God or not. And the way I decided to overcome it was by thanksgiving. And I was reminded of the scripture says, be careful for nothing, but in everything, let your request be known unto God with thanksgiving, okay? And that's what I started doing. I just started praying and thanking God for what I have. I began to worship him even through my fear. And for me, that was a big, big step is to, is to take that step and just start praising the Lord. Just start thanking him for things, uh, call those things that are not as though they are. And when I started doing that, the Spirit of God just came on the inside of me and built me up and built me up. And it got me through that battle. Now, I can't say that fear just like, oh, I'm leaving him alone because the next night he would come. The, the fear, spirit of fear would try to overtake me and I would have to do it again and do it again. But you know what? I found out that the more that I did that, the stronger I became in him. And I just want to encourage you, if you have gone through that, or maybe you're going through fear right now and anxiety is trying to take over, I want to just encourage you just to begin to praise your way out. Begin to think of things that are lovely. Begin to think of things that are true. Begin to think of things that do have a good report. If there be any virtue, if there's any praise, think on these things. And uh, I will tell you that, that God will meet you there. Uh, be careful on your intake, what you allow to, to watch, what you're listening to uh, during that time, because it really does play mind tricks, whatever. Feast your eyes on the Word of God. Feast your eyes on the things of God and think on those things. I'm just telling you that's what helped me. And you will come out of this valley and you will be on top and you will have a mountaintop experience again.